if being a Christian were a crime, would you or I be found guilty? Would there be enough evidence in my life and in yours to show that we truly were followers of Jesus Christ? So, for example, would we show that we have some close relationship with God, with Jesus? Would there be signs in our lives of Jesus' compassion, of his forgiveness, of his care for others? Lent is a good time to think about that. The word for not following Jesus, uh, sin or transgression, the Greek word really means to shoot an arrow and to miss the mark. That is, that the arrow is shot and it goes off course. It goes off in a different direction. It doesn't go where it should go. It doesn't hit the target. That's what a sin or a transgression is in your life and mine. That we're living in some way that if our target is to follow Jesus Christ as we can, to live his life in ours, that somehow we go astray. The arrow of our life goes off to the side, different direction. That's a transgression. That's a sin. Lent is a good time for us to think about that. Lent is a good time to think about us. Are we on track? Is the arrow of our life heading toward the target of sharing in Jesus' life? Lent would also be a good time to use the sacrament of confession. We don't hear about it much. We don't use it much these days. But it would be a great sign of being able to speak in, in the presence of the, of the priest representing God, representing Jesus, that we recognize that something in our life is off, off course and needs to be changed. If being a Christian were a crime, would there be enough evidence in your life and mine to find us guilty? Think about it.